and I don't want to deal with this crazy bitch. <laughs> like, like it had nothing. To, like she's, of course, she once once she gets that, she's gonna start going to a whole dimension where you ever see like shows or maybe even on Instagram now where girls just doing things. They're like, why would you even go this far? They can't even think anymore. Like, no funny shit. I had a girl in my driveway begging. Begging, I'm like, go. What's she doing in your drive? Because I went. She, <laughs> she, she wanted me. So like, did she I, just come over? Did you kick her out? No, Why was she in the I driveway? Didn't kick her out. I just said, yo, listen, like this is, you know, like she was already displaying her crazy side, and my homies told me not to do it, and I knew in my soul not to do it. And what'd you I do? Still did it. There you go. I still did it, but I, I didn't do it right away. It took a couple months, right? <laughs> and then one day, niggas was lit. So then that happened, and then. I told her eventually, I'm like, yo, listen, like this, like this was not that. I don't, and I told you this numerous times. I just think we need to stop talking in total and entirely because we tried this friendship and then you still try to love me and that doesn't work. That woman pulled up to my crib, four o'clock PM, in her white Honda Accord. <laughs> it was beep, 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 beep. And mind you, what made it worse was that. My room was right where the driveway was. So I'm like, yo, this bitch is all, I'm like, go home. She's calling me. I was like, come on, I, let me just, let me just suck your dick, please. I just want to be with you, please. I'm like, I told you, no, like you got to go. And um, I knew that that was going to happen though. The thing about people warning you that somebody's crazy, it's like you want it, like it's, it's a little intriguing. It is a little intriguing. Like why, why are they crazy? Like, me? I just, like, Crazy. what you mean? What they be doing? <laughs> and we're toxic. <laughs> that part. Yo. They, 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 they love that chase. Yo. And be like, listen, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Please don't make me do this. I don't want, I said no. No means no. <laughs> no means no. No means no. Wrong. I'm just saying, like, no means I no. Mean, but then that turns some type of crazy button on in y'all. And y'all like, I can change him. Y'all? I'm not crazy. We just, no. We just heard what you, you just <laughs> replay the tape. <laughs> no, I'm intrigued in the crazy people. That's oh, crazy. that's crazy. I don't think <laughs> yeah. that makes me crazy. It does make you yes. crazy. Yes. I don't You're think so. in the crazy. I'm a very curious person. All right. That's another I want answers. I want to know. I'm trying to fuck with you to see why they say what they say. And then you go and find out the hard way. I feel like a lot of men, it's an elite men's sport. You know what I'm saying? To be able to identify the girls that's about to go crazy. Mm -hmm. Once you do what you know you can do. Most men don't got that. You know what I'm saying? So like some girls, they just go through life. Think about it. Like what? Most girls don't have an orgasm to the mid to late 20s or whatever the hell. I don't know. That's what they be saying. Like the mm. first two, three boyfriends, they never got an orgasm. Whatever. Then they go ahead and meet an elite and everything changes. The way she treats you change. The way she look at you change. You ever, Rome, you ever look at a girl no, and you they just, introduce the look, 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 Rome, you ever look at a girl and you look into her eyes and you see a sparkle like she's in heaven and you're like, oh, she's lost. <laughs> she's lost. And I don't know why I did this and I knew I shouldn't have brought her here to this place, but I liked her, but just not as much as I knew she would like me. So, but Rome, so what do you, what's your opinion on, on this? Do you think that this statement is accurate um, across the board? That Men and women, doesn't matter, don't want somebody that others can have. I agree. <laughs> but <laughs> some on women it. do not care. And that was the basis of our conversation. Yep. Again, for the ninth straight episode, I'm going to tell you, you say we are dogs. But you keep saying we are dogs. But you keep saying we are dogs. You got that. And then what happens? You said, I want to see why they call him a dog. I want, I want, to, see, I want to see who cut gave him out. those fleas. No, let's not cut it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and that's, that's the chase. That's the push. And that's the pull. And that's the, that's the cycle. And we're all guilty of it at some point in our lives. And good luck getting out of that. I can't. It's, that thing is reality. Like, yeah, it's tough. The same the, all women have wanted the same men for the entire existence of men. Mm-hmm. And and when we stop ignoring that, yeah, you I don't think the word settle 
didn't come from getting the man that you wanted. It came from getting the one that you couldn't get. Okay. That's where the word settle down came from. Because in history, the them men, the elite men, been getting what they want, having their cake, and eating it too, even if it was made by Amanda Sue. Ooh, Bars. that's a plug. <laughs> Bars. But it's not a good thing, you no, know. No, no, don't Legally, do that. you know, you don't want to risk your marriage, you know. Unless you're the side dude, because the side dudes rarely tell. And that's another thing. I think that the side chicks want to make it more than what it's going to be. Mm-hmm. But a side dude would be like, all right, that's your situation. That's cool. And I think that's why a, uh, a married woman or a woman will do everything she can and come running at his beck and call because she thinks that he wants to mess up her. He, we don't ever, they don't never want to mess up nothing. Side dudes definitely play the sport better than side women. Side dudes, like, I'm getting everything I want. I'm not, I'm not getting arguments. I'm not getting headaches. I probably only have to see her for a good hour because she got to go home to the, to the husband and kids. A woman is a responsibility for most men. Men are not a responsibility for most women. So a Ooh. girl, a girl, hey. a girl would want a side chick will be more so willing to take a man, you know, once his relationship blows up because she's going to be a responsibility for him. A guy who's a side dude is going to be like, okay, your relationship didn't work out. I don't want that responsibility of you. You know what I'm saying? So it's easier for a man to keep it at arm's length when the situation goes south rather than a girl. And if he's the side dude, he's probably, he's probably still, he's still dating. Yeah. And, he's, a, and he's still fucking. Exactly. I'm about and to give up all my bitches because your relationship not working. That part. That don't make then, sense. No, that don't even <laughs> add up. So then the side. They don't add up. They don't add up. Zero plus nine isn't, isn't divided. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm never doing that. So. But then, like the side, the side girl, actually, the side chick is still dating other men, but they're just not that one because he's the one that she can't really have. Mm-hmm. That's what that's the attraction and stuff you're talking about that you want to find out because he she can have all these other dudes that are out there that she's dating and seeing, but she really just want that one. Yeah, I would love to have women on the panel and honest women, honest not, women, not the not, not women. the cookie cutters for sake of the argument women. We'll, we'll honest women mask. come on the panel and say and answer why do you always want what you can't have? Not I okay. don't understand that. I'll be honest. No. We need some truth serum. No, I'm, I'm, truth serum. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, give you, we'll give you full face masks. You don't got to reveal. We won't give you, you anonymous. Instagram. Yeah, anonymous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can still wear nice heels and everything so you look good but just the mask is going to be A great dress yeah. and a blurred face. No, but look at us. We over here telling you. <laughs> it could be a regular joke. Ask your neighbor. Would you enter an agreement um, from your younger years about, say, in 10 years, we don't, we don't have anybody, we should get married or get with each other? If we're friends? If we're friends. But like, marry? Or like, we'll, we'll, just get together just to be in a relationship? Let's start with a relationship and then, I guess, get to wherever you want to be. Would you give that person a chance and like enter an agreement that in that manner? No. Best friend. Would you, would you do and your best friend make a, a relationship backup plan? Um, no. No. Like I don't that's not even something I have to think about. Because if we were friends all of this time and I am only going to date you if other relationships don't work out for me, then I was never really into you like that in the first place. Say it came out of something like just goofy, like you guys are kidding around and you're like, hey, you know what? I enjoy spending time with you. But you were so young where you knew you'd, you weren't ready for a relationship right now. And so you're thinking like, you know, I'm going to mature. And at some point I'd like to, you know, if we're both single, let's let's try well, to pick this it up. happened in the moment. Yeah, it wasn't very yeah. spontaneously. I felt like, you know what? You're not so bad. And we could actually work and we start dating like right now because we both felt that in in that moment at that time of our lives, then sure. But I'm not planning to date you 10 years, 10 years from now. No, that's not happening. Have you made an agreement like that before, Rome? 
<laughs> yeah, Rome. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Rome? Uh, yeah, I made I made an agreement, but I was that was after sex. I was like, yeah, we could, we could do this in like ten years. <laughs> oh, so you were bamboozled? I wasn't bamboozled. I was just that's what she wanted to hear. So, so what happened? Uh, no, I didn't. We didn't. We're not together. But like, so did you try it? No. Did she try it? Or no. was it just forgotten about? I don't because even, ten years is a long time to try to. Not keep only a is ten years a long time, but people age, and some people age better than others. <laughs> So uh he said, I'm, he said I'm fine. And, and you not. He and she not. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, what does she no. what does she look good? Like still look good ten years later. Are you guys even still friends? We're not even like the same friends. Like it's not realistic. It's not a realistic were thing. Were y'all real friends before the sex? <laughs> 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 so it doesn't even apply yeah it's not it's not real like to make a real pack like this this gotta be your good friend not even you that, might as well already be fucking bro but what i'm are saying we talking about you're not doing this in like your 30s if you think about it you're doing this in like your 20s you're having fun like at 35 you're not like hey in 10 years we're gonna you're not thinking about that but like in your 20s like you're like you know oh, yeah but regardless of age you're gonna make a pack like that with someone who is just like barely your friend someone you see like every now and then like no they would have to be your good friend to make a pack like this say it was the best sex you ever had in your 20s that was a question okay best sex <laughs> best sex i ever had yeah I don't, man she's a horn dog oh yeah no i'm not yes she is why would you say that he, does not, he literally does not know anything, so I don't know why he would say that. Please. <laughs> I'm just not even going to, I'm not even going to argue with her. I don't What's know why she's lying you don't, have to, you don't have to argue with me because right, listen, I'm defending myself. We're in the age of Aquarius not. and five years from now, whoever you fucking with or will fuck with is going to be like, yo, but she was on my body every day. I was four on nobody's body. Please. No one can say that. Yet. So. Yet. Anyways. We miss you. Still no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never telling you anything ever <laughs> again. again. <laughs> literally. Are you blushing? Literally. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I, can I slap him? <laughs> I love you, Amanda. I am never I'm telling, telling you nothing. But you're definitely, yo, and she got her toes up. Yo, listen. <laughs> <laughs> They're stiff right now. Like, she's stiff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. All right, listen, you are forever my friend. Right. Forever, my lady. <laughs> so, what you made a pack? I did not make a pack. Okay. No, I did not. I mean, and I don't the... spend the block either. Not okay, anymore. maybe that. <laughs> You're a reform block spinner. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> 2024 doesn't happen anymore. Okay, Age of Aquarius. But why would you? Sp <laughs> <laughs> why would you spend the block? What would make you spin the block before, um, prior to this new you? Okay, two reasons for two different people. One person, I really thought this was going to be forever. I'm like, I really thought that this could go somewhere. So I always check back, you know? Just in your 20s. Check back in. Yes, of course, I'm in my 20s. The second reason was sex for, this, for another person. It was really good? Yeah, it was. So there you go. So... They got that doesn't you mean your... relations. I already knew what it was when I spent the block with that person. I, okay. That wasn't relationship. That wasn't like, oh, the sex was so good. So now I really want to be with you. No. Okay. It but... was. It was actually a like mutual understanding. Like they know when they got a text from me. When I got a text from them, I I we know what it was. Okay, but can we discuss how having sex or having the right sex with somebody could get you out of your normal train of thought? And your normal senses, and you can make stupid packs like, oh, I'm going to marry you in 10 years if you're not. It's the voice. <laughs> it's always the voice. But I'm saying it, it does, it usually comes after sex. Not after sex, but, you know, great sex will mess your mind up. I feel like you got to, I feel like you got to love that person. I feel, no, you got to love that person for real. Mm. Sex make you love them. Yeah. Make you love them. I don't think so. Cuz I'm I'm thinking about I'm thinking about the best sex or the She's person I double back on the sex and I'm like I would never tell that person that. Oh, so you just haven't found the right person. Wait, how old is that person? 
They made or what? Okay. That's why. So when she get nigga at 32, it's about to be old. What is that? I pray you what don't run into a 32-year-old yeah. slayer. Anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> don't look at me like that. What the hell? That power trip, you see it? It's crazy out here. These women in these streets. I said, no, I told y'all not to give him candy. Feel oh. powerless? I'll snatch that shit right out your hand. That's okay. That's okay. You want me to say okay, the three okay. words again? Just shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay, guys, we want to know. Shut up. We want to know can the side chicks be upgraded to the main chick? And I think that answer is very obvious. It happens all the time. Was you the side chick that got upgraded? I was never. But Why we not? all see. We all side chick. First of all, what's wrong with being the negative connotation around being a side chick, period? What's wrong with being a side chick? Why would you voluntarily want to be put in that position? So you yourself would not upgrade your side chicks to be your main chick. Why would I do that? Yeah, that's, not, that's not her position. All right. But what if you what if you loved her more than your main chick? It's happened. Because, yeah, that that does happen. So most most of the time, your side whatever is providing something that your your main isn't. So, of course, you're going to think that you like this person more, but in actuality, you don't. The less you know about the side person is like the dreams, like the fantasy, and you know that you're not going to live with this person. Like it's never going to go further than what it is, and like that's the draw, like that's the lust, that's the attraction. It's not. It's not. For me, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I couldn't. I, I never knew a side person that. Deserve to be upgraded. I had a side bitch that was better than my main bitch. She took her spot.